What's going on everyone and welcome to Vivid Collectibles. My name is Danny and today I'm really excited to bring you my review of Tweet Ahead's He-Man and Battle Cat Maquette. This is an impressive statue, one that's been out for about a month now and it was highly anticipated and somewhat controversial when it first came out due to its price for a 1-6 scale. So when you, generally speaking when you think of 1-6 scale uh, it's kind of small for those of us that are accustomed to collecting quarter scale or bigger. But that's not the case with this. Uh, a 1 6 scale Battle Cat is massive, as you're going to be able to see on this review. And he has a decent size for a 1 6 scale. I think it's maybe a little bit oversized, but that, I'm not going to complain about that. I think the uh, maquette looks really, really good. But initially, the price point was the big, big what you know issue. Because everyone agreed it looked really good. I mean, everyone was on board that this was going to be a, a great looking piece but then they announced the price and at the time it was like a thousand dollars for a one six scale a lot of people said um, I'm out immediately and I kind of felt the same way so initially when it went up I went up on Sideshow's website and they called it an exclusive now I'm trying to figure out what is exclusive about it because everywhere I see it listed it comes with the same exact items this one comes with so I'm really confused about that. I hope uh, Twitter had clarifies that a little bit because it doesn't make a whole lot of sense that it was a site so exclusive. It's everywhere and it offers the same exact options. So again, that's a little bit confusing. So let's get right into this review. We're gonna start with the base. I'm gonna maintain the turntable going as I describe it. So you can see this almost like uh, bluish green. This is meant to be uh, Castle Grey Skull Grounds. And look at this. It's, a, it's really, really nicely sculpted. Look at all the rock. Look underneath there. Really nice shading on the, mostly green or bluish green. But the shading is done tremendously. Love, look at all the textures underneath. Looks really, really cool. I think they captured basically what we know to be the classic. Looks awesome. Look at the teeth there on that base. Very big statue. It's about 27 inches in length, almost 24 inches tall, and about 17 inches wide. But I think the base is done really nice. Look at all the details they were able to capture in here. Great paint job on this. And it's relatively lightweight, it's not as heavy as uh, you would think it would be. So let's move on to Battle Cat himself. Look at the textures. See his fur, right? That green and orange very very cool nice black by the paws sculpted nicely the nails are really really nice almost like a matte black with some some gloss I wish it had a little more gloss on it a look at the textures on the fur nice paint job here and I love the pose it's nice that they were able to pull this off He's basically lunging in attack mode. That's probably one of the best part, aspects of the statue is the really cool pose that you get in He-Man's right arm. Again, look at the paws, very nicely done. You can see the treads underneath, very nice. And then his armor, that really cool like red. See all the little details, all the rivets. Saddle, very, very cool. And then I'm going to get to the Tiger's portrait. Very nice. You see the little spiked helmet. His eyes lit up. The glossy tongue, the nice teeth. Very nicely done. They packed a lot of really good detail. Now, the realism is there, especially for something that's a cartoon, right? This is not a real life interpretation of the masters of the universe this is the classic basically jumping out of your screen when you were a kid cartoon i love the expression he's roaring he's ready he's fighting looks awesome and then he met himself really nicely sculpted look at those wrapped boots look like genuine leather the fur on it his skin is painted beautifully that, that He-Man tan we're used to. Nice shading throughout to give it that muscle definition. 
really nicely done. This was sculpted by a gentleman named Guillermo Barbiero. He's done a lot of work for Sideshow and for Tweeterhead over the years. Again, look at the boots. Look at the muscle tone. He-Man's shield. That red metallic right there. Nice paint job on that as well. Look at the musculature. Great physique on He-Man. Now he's... I have him displayed with the battle axe and holding the master sword behind him. like the way that looks. A lot of nice detail on the battle axe. The weapons are sculpted. Gauntlets. Looking very cool. And he has portrait. Raging. The hair looks pretty good. Again, it's a 1-6 scale. He's not overly big. My, my one nitpick is I feel like on the 1-6 scale Joker on Throne, they put a lot of details on Joker's portrait. And those eyes and teeth are done immaculate. I think this was a bit of a miss on He-Man's teeth and eyes. They look like decals. It just doesn't look great. I was hoping for better. But the overall package that you're getting with this statue is pure nostalgia. I mean, He-Man on Battle Cat, that's amazing in itself. It's really, really a nice package. It's very big. The cat feels like PVC to me, unless it's a very hollow resin to keep it lightweight. So does the base. Uh, He-Man feels fully sculpted, uh, like it's resin. So I'm not 100% sure what the materials that they used were. They don't disclose that on Sideshow's website, so I'm not 100% sure. But they made a thousand of these, and they're waitlisted on Sideshow as we speak. But I've seen it available in other websites, such as Big Bad Toy Store. And secretcompass.com. I'm not 100% sure what the difference is between the deluxe or whatever else they're selling. Everything that I see includes everything that I have here, and this is supposed to be an exclusive. But overall, I'm really, really happy with this statue. I think the colors really pop, the sculpt is dead on, and the pose is among the best of any He Man statue you're gonna find out there. Mid battle, action scene, really nicely done by Twitter had they deserve a lot of credit for being able to pull this off it's such a massive statue and to be able to balance it and engineer it in such a way where you can really just display and enjoy it it's very stable it never feels like it's gonna fall off everything fit together very very nicely and I have uh, so there's another option one of the other options is the sword if you want to display him with swinging the sword rather than the battle axe you could do that it looks good as well and if you, if you do that, then you can remove the sword from behind them. They give you this little piece that will cover that. That way he's just swinging the sword, obviously. No way to put the battle axe. And then they give you a different chest piece. This is more like the modern He-Man. This is a classic He-Man. They both look good, in my opinion. There's not much of a difference between the two if you display them that way. But again, like I stated before, I think Twitter deserves a lot of credit for the work they've been doing and this one certainly turned out really really nice it took a while they, they went off a pre-order like April of last year and it didn't start shipping till recently but uh, better late than never and I'm glad they took the time to do it because it, what they have in their hands is really what's going to be a classic statue and I believe they're working on Skeletor and his Black Panther now, that's going to be pretty cool too and we'll see uh, what that one looks like down the road. But for now, I'm going to leave you guys with this thing spinning. Hope you enjoyed the review. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Till next time, take care.